what the Bible's saying in here is as it was in those days, in that day, leading up to that, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. It says here that they were eating and drinking and marrying and giving in marriage. Now these aren't necessarily bad things, but it's painting this picture of this lack of concern. This lack of concern, this judgment was coming upon the world. Imagine this, all of a sudden the rain starts falling, it says the water starts coming up from beneath, and it just floods. I bet you then they were taking Noah pretty serious, but you know what? The door was shut. Salvation was no longer available. And there is a judgment coming upon this world. Jesus Christ is going to return in flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And as it was in the days of Noah, when this judgment was right around the corner and people didn't care, so shall it be at the coming of the Son of Man. The judgment of God right around the corner. And people don't care. There is still change in your heart. There's still hate in your heart. Drunkenness, fornication, adultery, filthiness coming out of your mouth. Lust. All these things that pertain to this world. You're still walking in it. But I know a man who can send you free. Yeah. The name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. It's time to be reconciled to God, people. It's time to be washed. To be sanctified. Glorified. Purify in the blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus is holy. It's pure. And it's the only thing that can cleanse you from all your sins.